Right, we're back in Essex with farm manager John Haynes on a fortunately damp day because I don't think that you've had much rain since we were here last time, John, and I'm not sure what that has meant for you on the farm. We've had about two and a half millimetres since you were last here. As you can see, even though we've had 20 mil of rain overnight, it's still very dry. We've been irrigating for the last four weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, we've irrigated just shy of 300 hectares all of which has had about 30, 35 mil. Um, even with this rain, we shall probably carry on in a week's time just because the, the soil moisture deficit is so high. And your T2 sprays, I believe, are imminent. You'll be starting very soon? Yes, yeah, we've 200 hectares of, of uh, the barley and then we'll be straight into the first wheats um, with, a, with a T2 spray on those. As you can see, the, the flag leaves are now well out. Um, the, the weather has been particularly catchy. It's been very dry and, and sunny, but at the same time, it's been very, very windy this season, so right. we've been struggling. Okay. And um, Bill Clark of Nile Pag, um, have you got any special advice for John? <laughs> <laughs> Given that, um, yeah, we're finding Septoria I mean, in I, this crop. I think the special advice is keep going, because you know, last time we were here, we were talking about how dry it was and how it was a low disease year, and yet here we are, crops at full flag leaf emergence. We saw septoria on the tips of leaf four when we were here last time. So the, T, the T1 spray would have protected the, the leaf three that came out. But standing in the crop now, you can see there's plenty of septoria on, on, on leaf four and the odd bit upon leaf three. So the leaf threes are overlapping, certainly leaf two and the flag leaf. So you need you know, you need to get on with the flag leaf spray pretty urgently. I think the T1 and a half did its job, because if this, you know, if, if the rain keeps coming and this flag leaf spray gets delayed, that T1 and a half will more than pay for itself. Okay. And um, Anthony Slade from Syngenta, um, what we're seeing here today, is this typical of the wider area that you work in? Or? This, this is fairly typical throughout the, the Essex area on the, on the the on the Essex clays. Right. Um, there's some pretty thick crops about uh, and the disease is there. Um, there's pockets of brown rust popping up in varieties right. um, just because a, a, a variety has a, a rust high rust rating they can break down you know a, a drop of a hat and uh, so yeah. we, we do need to keep these crops protected as, as Bill has said. Um, the danger is going forward is there's a lot of nitrogen that hasn't been washed into the soil um, and if the plant then takes it up with this last rain that we've had there's the increased risk of uh, yellow rust increasing going forward. Okay.